Ford dealers of America who sell and service Ford cars and Ford trucks present Bird Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kukla Potterton players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. There should be room now. Let me see. Now, if we move the slide trombone here. Oh, no, that'll run into the... We mustn't run into the bass fiddle because there should be room for the bass fiddle. Well, let's get the bass fiddle and try it. Okay. Well, it should fit right down. The bass fiddle should fit right, right there. Now, let's, no, let's turn it down this way. All righty, Bob. Kukla's my name. All righty, Kukla. There. Why? Need a little tuning. Well, that's all right. We can do a little tune it later. Now, let me see. Now, wait a minute. Let's put it down on the floor because there's, there's room here. I'm so glad that we decided to use the station wagon for our tour. The country squire, Kukla. Oh, I know. Country squire. The station wagon. Country squire, station wagon. 51 Ford. It's so wonderful being able to remove this, this back seat and then fold down the next seat. You still have lots of room to ride in the front seat. But there's all the room for all the musical instruments. Yes, certainly is. Well, let's see. We'll put this down here. That's, oh, that's fine. That fits nice. All right, now let's try the piano. Okay. Well, there's lots of room in the country squire, but I don't know about the piano, Kukla. Well, I think we can get it in if we try. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me move the trombone on it here. All right, now try to get it down. Put the trombone back. All right. Yeah. Don't play with it. Just put it back. Sorry. Temptation. Well, I'll let me see. I don't know how we can do it. You suppose Jack has to go? Well, certainly we need him. He He's our musical director, and besides, he plays such a mean piano. Well, let's say, this leg is coming off. Maybe we could take all three off. Well, now that might be a way to do it. Gee, I think we unscrew. Oh, that'll do it. That'll go in fine, right? Right there on top of the glockenspiel. Fine, that's good. Now, Fran has got to put her triangle in. Yeah. Now, where should we put the tom-tom? Oh, I don't know. I think we need it. Oh, yes, for those special effects. Well, it's going to be good to be on the road again, isn't it? You bet. Well, let's see. We could put the tom If we could unlace the tom-tom, we could keep Fran's hat in there. And she could carry that in her own car. Well, that might be an idea. Maybe we could put that in the luggage compartment in Victoria. Try it. Now, let me see. I've got an inventory. Uh-oh. What? The xylophone. Oh, well, let's see what we can do. Bring it in. I I think that would fit right there on top of the bull fiddle. Yeah, that, that fits fine. Just right even with the back window. That's good. All right, Dolores could sleep up here. We could put a little blanket and she could sleep right there. That's good. Let's see. Oh, that's fine. Very comfortable. Fine, that'll work. All right, now let's see. Mustn't forget my tambourine. Now I might be asked to do selections from the Bohemian Girl. Fletcher, we're not going to do that. This is going to be strictly a dance band. Well, I know, but you never can tell. We might run into some place, somebody, some place that says, "Well, I remember you well, Fletcher Rabbit, for your fine rendition of uh, of the Prince, uh, the Gypsy uh, Prince in uh, Bohemian Girl." Would you like to get up and do a fandango for us? Well, I mean, you won't do it. Well, if I have my tambourine, I will. We'll leave it home then. Oh, now, Kukla, that's hardly sporty. Oh, well, I guess we don't really need it anyway. Still, we could pass it around after the numbers in case things get tough. Now, let's see the itinerary and the map. That's up in the glove compartment. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's... Here's the French horn. Well, Kukla, we're not going abroad. We're going to stay in America with this tour. Fletcher, really, the French horn is part of the orchestra now. Well, I'll see if I can tuck it down here. Now, uh, let me see. If I could get it between the flute. Oh, the flute can go up in the glove compartment. No, that's the piccolo. Well, let's see. We could put that down here between the, the trumpets. 
And the tenor sack. That's good. It's good company for it. There, that fits fine. Well, I think we've got everything set. All right, I'm going to see if I can find the maps and all the drums. Well, we'll get the drums later. Well, we can work on those later. See, we can all get in and then get put the drums around in some way. I hope they fit. Gracious sake, they're the most important part. I wouldn't want to forget my traps. Gracious sake, no. Well, I think everything's all set now. Jack, can you think of anything else? I think you've covered everything, Cooper. I hope so. I've got a regular inventory. Now, you're going to carry some things in, in the convertible, aren't you? Yeah, and I'll take most of the arrangements, sir. Fran's going to take the 51 Ford uh, Victoria. Uh, you're going to take the arrangements? Yeah, library. Yeah. I thought Ollie was taking care of the arrangements. Oh, well, I'm helping him, or he's helping me. Well, I hope everything's all right now, because anybody got any musical instruments, they have to go. Better do it now. Hello, dear. Here's the harp. Oh, Bill, we're not going to be playing the harp. I'm not going to be playing it, but Madam Wilkerson may want to. I thought we three girls might double at luncheons. What do you mean? We're just going to play in the evening. Oh, no, no, no. We, Madam Wilkerson decided that, that um, she and I and Fran are going to do some, um, some very special arranging for a luncheon party. You know, harp, triangle, and uh, bass fiddle. What about the cello? Well, the cello doesn't make any difference. Well, Bill, you'll have to carry that in your own car because this is just the dance orchestra. Okay. All right with me. <gasps> Fred, I think we've got everything all fixed. Well, good. I'm going to move some of the stuff back and see if we can rehearse a little bit. All right. Would you mind taking the car and putting it back in the garage? Not in the least. I think you can back it right up, dear. I can drive it in or from any direction. Good. It's going to be exciting, isn't it? I think it's going to be wonderful. I think so, too. Oh, I can hardly wait now. Let me see. Fran! Mm -hmm. Madame Oglepuss is not going. Bula said Madame Oglepuss was going, but she and, she and Colonel Cracky will be on their honeymoon. Well, that's what we've been thinking, but yeah. then she hasn't said flat-footedly that she's not going. Well, I just I just wondered, because I, if it's there on their honeymoon, we'll... Well, you think everything turned out all right after yesterday? Oh, I hope so. But if, if I say they're on their honeymoon, we'll, we won't be able to use them in the orchestra. Say, there are them. two empty chairs. Now, what do we do? I don't know. Somebody will have to tell them. Hey, kids, what's happened to the backdrop here? Where? There's nothing on it. Look in the monitor. Oh, oh that's, um, burns in. Hmm? Huh? Burned in. Oh, gracious sake, let's call the fire department. No, no, no. What's burned in? Well, oh, oh, I know what you mean. It's when sometimes when the camera is on for a long time, the image of a, of a picture stays right in, you know. Oh. Mm -hmm. We could all stand. Say that might be very interesting for posterity. Might, might very well. Certainly, we, right after the show, why don't we just stand in front of the camera for a long time? Burn in, then they can run that tomorrow. They can run that tomorrow. Have a day great. off. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> well, I hope you kids are all ready with them. Um, for rehearsal and everything. Well, I haven't chosen any new songs to sing. I think uh, I ought to get together with Jack and you and... Fran, I was going over things. Now, if Madame Ogilvie and Colonel Cracky don't go, that's going to leave two extra chairs in the orchestra. Yes. And now, you know very well that we'll need, you know, after all, Colonel Cracky plays the, if he plays the piccolo, we're going to need the piccolo because all our arrangements have the piccolo in it. Well, yes. And Madame Ogilvie, uh, you know, after all, there's no one better on the tenor sax than Madame Ogilvie. I never thought of her as the tenor sax. Oh, yes, she did. Didn't you know that? No. I thought she doubled between the clarinet and the tuba. I can see her on the soprano, but I never... Uh... She gave up the tuba. She gained a little weight. Can't get around her anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I thought I might work on the tuba. I well, we just have to rearrange them, I guess, then. Well, I was thinking, Fran. No, we can't rearrange the arrangements. Heaven's sake. Besides, we're not going to take many arrangements along. We're going to ad-lib a lot. Ad-lib? Oh, yeah, we're going to have sort of jam sessions. Things like that, you know. Well, Ollie, I don't know how successful that would be. I think, uh, I think we should really make some plans. I would like to know what I was going to do. Well, Fran, here's what I thought. <clears throat> now, you're going to be, last year, you were Fran Allison, girl singer, with a Kukupalan dance band. Yes. I think we didn't have a name last year. We should have had some sort of a name besides Kukupalan dance band. Yeah, something like the Kukupalan, uh, Blue Jays. Well, that's a pretty good name, the Kukupalan Blue Jays, yeah. Kukupal and Cut-Ups. The Kukupal and Cut-Ups. An Think entertaining band. Yeah. Think a patient that you'd like to dance to. That'd be good? Yeah. Well, anyway, <clears throat> you were a girl singer last year. Well, this year, you, I think you can be girl singer. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, you are going to be girl singer. But I think you'll have to double. 
Well, I'll drive the car. Yeah, but I know, but could you... Could Can't you play I... an instrument? I don't think so. Besides the triangle, I mean. No, I can't think of anything. All our arrangements may, may need you in it, Fran. I'm I, I used to be able to play the March of the Little Sages on the piano, but we have Jack for that. No, that's true. We don't need him. How about out where the West begins? Oh, yes, I can play that in octaves. <laughs> can you sing it? Sometimes. I On a clear day, because it, it takes a lot of effort. Oh, I see. Oh, I hardly think we'll be using that with the dance band. I think it's such a wonderful idea for our vacation. Think of barnstorming in the country. How's the itinerary going? Oh, say, it's great. Wait till I go get my maps. All right. And I'll show you just exactly where all the jumps are. Fine. Oh, I think this is wonderful. It's just, you know, it's very important to a theatrical well, we'll, company. Well, we'll see the country. That's something. Well, it's very important for, for any theatrical company to get out and tour, friends. Well, yes, meet, uh, meet their audiences. I think so. You know, we can't always stay here. We should we should get out and leave. Besides, we'll be earning our way every every bit of the way. Well, I like to think that we will. Oh, we will. Certainly we will. It'll be so exciting. And we'll, we'll I think we should play on, on on guarantees and percentages. You think so? Yes, that percentage deal didn't work out too well the other time. Well, I suppose, I suppose we really should. Because if we're going to make expenses, we got to... Wow! Woo! Yeet! Wow! What's the matter, Bueller? All gone. What's the matter? Well, I was trying to wire up the drums so the lights would go off and on on the inside. With the foot pedal? Yeah, it's got a terrible shock. Sorry. And listen, that's it's not going to work. That's all it is. That, that, you know, with the lights inside all the drums and your name on the outside, yeah. not going to work. It's not going to work at all. Why, you? It's just not going to work. It doesn't show. It doesn't work out right. Have you tried the fluorescent paint? Well, I'll try that next. Well, let me know. Yes, I, I will. Help. Be careful of the loose wires. You bet. Dolores, get out of the paint. We're painting the stands, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Well, I think oh, it's be fun. When do we... How about the itinerary? Oh, I couldn't find my maps, but I've got it settled. Now, we go off the air, uh, let's see, in Chicago we go off June 29th. That's right. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> now, June 30th, we play Omaha. Well... Not too bad. That's, that's not too bad. No, that's not. That's a day's drive. Well, it's pretty near 500 miles. Oh, well, that's all right. We don't have to go on until 7 o'clock. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Uh, now, kids, I want you to have your, your mess jackets and your... Uh, well, you're not going to... You're going to wear formal. I'm going to wear a mess jacket. I'm going to wear a mess jacket. I want you to have them nice and clean and all ready. And you want to take two, so you can have one clean and wash while the other... Or you're wearing the other one. Now, <clears throat> that's a Saturday in Omaha. Now, Sunday, we're playing uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We're what? Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Oh, I don't think you can do it. Why? Well, there's a distance too great, Ollie. That's it's a booked. Well, well there's I've only about two inches on the map. <laughs> what map are you looking at? One of the Western Hemisphere. <laughs> Ollie. My goodness. That's a long, long way. It's Why, almost clear across do it. the I've country. I've heard of some one-nighters, but believe me, that's a, that's terrible. Maybe I should cancel the Monday date in Seattle then, huh? <laughs> Seattle? <laughs> Why, Ollie... I told Mrs. Bullitt we'd play for the dance out there. Then, then, uh, then it's all real uh, snap because we go down to Los Angeles then for Tuesday. That's right on the coast there. So that's a, that's a snap. And the Wednesday we have off. Well, see, that's nice. Then we open in Paris Thursday morning. <laughs> I hope Kentucky. No, Illinois. Oh. Then a Friday, let me see now, what was Friday? Friday, silent night. No, it isn't either. No, Friday we're on. Friday we play, uh, oh, Friday and Saturday we play in the same place. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah, Mexico City. <laughs> I don't see how you, uh, I thought I'd uh, book it, you know, for two days in a row like that because it, that gives us a chance to see a little of the country. Well, yes. Yeah. Stay around. I want to see a few things. I want to go and visit around Mexico City. I thought we might go over to uh, Taxco and uh, uh, Apococo. Mm -hmm. Whatever that town is there on the coast. Then we take the boat <coughs> right there at Apococo, and uh, we go, we take the boat and... Uh, well, it's not a big boat. We're just going to play a small engagement on the boat there. But they've, they've got enough room so we can put the car cars on the boat. 
And then we go through the Panama Canal, and we play uh, Biloxi on the 4th of July. Did I hear you say the 4th of July? Yes, I said the 4th of July. I thought that we were already booked up for the 4th of July. Heavens, have I made a mistake? Oh, I wouldn't say that you'd made a mistake. No, not at all. You haven't made a mistake. Where uh, had you thought we were playing the 4th of July? Well, I thought we were playing the 4th of July in Quebec. That's right. Well, that's not far. Biloxi, Quebec. We can take a boat down the Mississippi River and get there in no time at all. Oh, Ollie, really? Kids, I'm just kidding, really. We, they aren't that bad, the jumps. I'll, I'll maneuver it so it'll be okay. all right. Yeah, yeah well, you, fine. don't worry about it. But we really need a little rehearsing. Yes, I guess we could use a little rehearsing. Now, now kids, we, we've got to be able to the double and change off. And uh, like, for instance, uh, you you should uh, you should vamp some of the time, some of the time I should vamp, and uh, what's vamping? Oh, Kukla, that's when the, when somebody plays a chord and and and, and it's sort of the background. Isn't that what you kind of call it, Jack? Right on. Well, give us a, give us a, a demonstration, would you? Get it? Yeah, I get it. Keep vamping, vamp until you're ready. Vamp until you're ready to fall in love. Flirting, never going steady. Flirting till you're ready to fall in love. Waiting for the celebrating. On that lucky day when we get together, vamp it, vamp it, vamp until you're ready, vamp until you're ready to fall in love with me. Got it. Now all we have to do is build arrangements around that. That'd be real fine. Mm -hmm. Real great. I'd love to. Fran, look, now here's a chance for you to double. Now you, you can play some musical instruments. Let, I'll do the vamping and you... Why don't you try just rehearse a little bit? I don't have any musical instruments. Fran, the slide whistle. The slide No, whistle. no, that's going to be in our... That's going to be in our regular arrangement sessions. I mean, I mean something else like... Uh, uh, well, you must have some suggestions. Tambourine? I'll, I'll run up to Gnome and see what I can find. Okay. Gnome where? Alaska. Now let's try that again, Jack. <coughs> Keep vamping, Jack. Keep vamping. Vamp until you're ready. Vamp until you're ready to fall in love. Flirting, never going steady. Flirting till you're ready to fall in love. Hello? Well, I thought that was you for a minute. I thought it was. Well, we just have a lot of rehearsing to do. I'm sorry. Well, we'll try to hold it down. You bet. Goodbye. Well, Paul's in Studio A. We're disturbing them. Oh, well, that's a shame. They're rehearsing, and they're just taking five minutes, and they're all sleeping. Oh. Well, heaven forbid we should disturb them in any way at all. Ollie, I don't think I'm really on the right track with this. That's a good little bell, Fran, but I don't know. Somehow it doesn't add anything to... I'll tell you, in a minute, we'll have a jam session. Okay. Yeah, just a minute. Now, Coo, you got the transportation problems all settled? Well, just about. Now, we're taking the 51 Ford uh, station wagon, the Country Squire, and uh, Fran is taking the Ford Victoria. I want to take the Ford Victoria. Well, 
Ollie, I, uh, I promised Fran. She, she's going to take it. She wants to drive it. I thought I was going to be able to drive it. But you can drive along with her. I wanted to drive it myself. I love the Ford Victoria. Smart as a convertible. Snug as a sedan. All steel top. I know. So cute, you know. Quarter windows, they roll all the way down. I can sit there, nothing to obstruct the breeze or the view. Well, you don't want to concentrate on the view when you're driving. Well, no. I don't, but you can catch a little bit out of the corner of your eyes. Better keep your eyes on the road. We want safe driving every minute of this tour. I want any reckless driving at all. Don't look at me. I'm very conservative. I, don't, I always drive carefully and do all my signals and you know, watch for all the lights and stop at all crossroads. And I'm very careful. I don't cross the center line. No, sir, I'm very careful. But I won't be. What do you mean? Not if I can't have the Victoria. Oh, come on. Stop sulking. I'm not sulking. You could have the Ford Victoria, the Ford uh, convertible. All right. Or you can ride with Fran. All right. Go salt, Fran. He is. Yeah. Well, Fran, I don't know. He wants to drive the Ford Victoria, and I promised you. And I well, he can drive it. I'll go with you. Will you? Sure. You can drive it, Ollie. What? The Victoria. I've changed my mind. I want the convertible now. Oh, all right. Fran, we ought to have a little session now to kind of warm up. All right. Jack, how about you? Could you jam with us a little bit here? All right. Warm things up. Oh, boy, am I excited. Oh, ho, ho, ho. How I love the percussion instruments. <laughs> I don't have very much to work with. Well, you got some. Um, let me see if you got a side whistle. Yeah. I'll tell you, this first chorus will take them um, with rhythm here. Rhythm and cymbal, that's good, Fletch. And uh, you, will you take the bandon? Yeah, th just the first half. Hmm? Yeah, the first half. Yeah, we'll try the first.
I'm surprised we're still here. Oh, I can scarcely stand it. I don't believe that I've had so much fun in a long time. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, well, well, this is real. This is too good to take on the road. Why don't we play this for concerts? We could go to Carnegie Hall. Yes, well, I we could go there. There's a certain, I guess, formality about getting in. Well, why don't we do a concert there just like a... Like Benny Goodman did, for gracious sakes, we can we can do that. I, I I'm going to call my father. What does your father know about it? He knew Mr. Carnegie. Oh, great. Well, Mr. Carnegie from where? Well, he lived next door. Very nice fellow too. Always objected to us going to his gardens, but very nice fellow. I thought that was Mr. McGregor. Really? <laughs> very silly. I'm kind of upset for a minute. Oh, wouldn't it be nice just to take a quiet vacation? You mean without the drums? Maybe? This, is, this is fun, but hardly a vacation. Oh, I, I'm a little upset about the itinerary. Well, I am too. That's what bothered me. I, I don't know, just uh... Kids, I got it all fixed up. Yeah, I've got it all fixed up. Instead of taking that two days in Mexico City, we'll only take one day there. Johannesburg, here we come. <laughs> How did you know? I don't know. I have a feeling for things like that. And so I got, I got us a date on the boat, too, going down. It'll be kind of a tight squeeze because we'll have to, uh, we'll have to make a quick jump there. We, we're going to take the boat. <clears throat> see now, where are we going to take? Oh, we're taking the boat from uh, Boston. See? And the day before we take the boat... We're leaving for Luna. Are we? <laughs> Oh, the moon. Oh, you're kidding, friend. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, you're kidding. You're just kidding. We're not going to play the moon, not this trip. That's next year. Oh. Oh, well, brother, what well, you do makes to it me? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with Tufa? I don't know. Oh, we, we thought that possibly this year, instead of traveling with the Koopa Politan band, we'd stay here and work out some routine. Because I know that you could do a much better job of arranging everything if you could stay with Jack and just kind of be quiet about the whole thing. Well, that's an idea, yes. Let's think about that carefully. Oh, I, I'd love to think about that. As a matter of fact, we can take little trips out in the country and get inspiration. That'd be lots of fun. Yes. Well, Ollie, then, then you don't mind? Not a bit, kid. Okay, remember, when you buy for the future... Buy Ford. <laughs> Here's the car that combines the dash of a convertible with the steel-topped snugness of a sedan, the new Ford Victoria. The beauty of its exterior, finished in lustrous two-tone or single-tone colors, is equaled only in the Victoria's luxury lounge interior. Here you'll find rich fabric, leather, and vinyl upholstery ensembles and handsome appointments, all carefully custom-matched with the external colors you select. You'll be proud to drive the Victoria. It's 1951's smartest car buy. The musical director of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie is Jack Fraginato. The producer is Bula Zachary, the director, Louis Gomovitz, and the costume designer, Joseph Lockwood. And this is Burr Tilstrom thanking you on behalf of Fletcher Rabbit and all the Kukla Palton dance band. Remember to visit your friendly Ford dealer. We think you'll agree with him. You can pay more, but you can't buy better. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. NBC Television.